good. Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm the director of Boating Lab, and we've just concluded the dunk tank test of our automatic inflatable PFD test. As you can see, our crash test dummy, Nash Hoover, has survived the experience, but as you can also see, we've got a whole lot of PFDs to rearm, and that's the second segment of our test, and it begins right now. So after practicing and accidentally deploying a couple of PFDs, we got the system down and began our test. Now some use a dissolving tablet in a bobbin form. That would be like this Revere. The bobbin needs to be removed, and we'll show you how. Now the Mustang Survival HIT that uses the hammer device and others like them are a little more difficult to redeploy. That's because it's hard to get the mechanism in the port and attach it and the zipper takes longer to work all the way around and back to reheal the device. The advantage is it deploys up to two seconds quicker than the dissolving pill kind and it won't deploy in rainwater or splash water. Now the units like the Stearns that use a dissolving pill or the Revere that use a dissolving bobbin are easier, quicker, and less expensive to rearm at about $20 to $30 in about a minute in time. The hydrostatic devices cost $80 but won't deploy in rain or green water over the bow like some of our dissolving tablet activators did. If you're looking for a PFD yourself and you want good protection at a low price, the dissolving tablets are for you. If you want maximum protection, you don't mind the higher price and you need the waterproof operation, go with the hammer devices. I'm Randy Vance and this is Boating Lab on automatic inflating PFDs.